Hey guys, Casey here with the Saiyans USA. Got a call a few weeks ago from Jonathan Owen over at SWAT asking if I'd like to team up with him on a review of the Psionics Aurora. And my answer to that question was obviously yes, because here we are. So I've been seeing a lot of chatter about the Aurora across the internet. And you know, you wonder when you see new products come out, you wonder are they gimmicks or is there something to them? And so far I can tell you that I'm pretty pleased with the capabilities that the Aurora has. So give you guys a little bit of backstory. We took it hunting a few weeks ago on a hawk hunt with Jared Hilton over at Schwat. And obviously if you're gonna test something um, for Schwat, you gotta go hog hunting with it, right? But we took it on a hog hunt and here you can see us you know, walking out to the truck. This is, um, this is nighttime, this is about nine o'clock, uh, 9 p.m. in Texas. Um, so sun's already set, we're walking out to the truck and it's in color mode here. So you can see that that's pretty cool. It does do color just like it says it does. And here's a quick clip of us driving. So this is driving, lights off about a quarter moon and the, the parking lights are on. So. Um, we don't have IR lights on the truck, so we run with the parking lights in. In this fashion, it was actually pretty similar to a PVS-14. Here you see a hog at about 60 yards. This is again with a quarter moon, no IR light. The, the big question that I'm sure people are gonna have is how does this compare to a PVS-14? And what I can tell you is when the moon's out, it, it compares pretty favorably. So when you lose the moon, the PVS-14 is going to have an advantage there, but you can make up for that by adding an IR light to this. So, um, but all in all, when you have you know a quarter, half, or full moon, this thing works really, really well. The color mode's awesome too. It's cool to have um, that color capability. And then as it gets darker and darker, you'll notice that that color starts to get more grainy on you. So you want to switch over to that black and white or monochromatic mode. Now. One of the big differences between this and a PVS-14 is cost. So these are coming in right now at about $800. $799 is what I've seen them for on the internet. And PVS-14 for a Gen 3, you're looking at $3,000 plus. So, so when you factor that in, there's a huge difference here. And then it also gives you the ability to record. It has an easy user interface. It records um, video easily. You can upload it to your phone. It records sound. So really what I look at this as is like a tactical GoPro or or a hunting aid. So it can be a, it can be a way to aid you in your hunting. Like this this year, I, I would see a lot of use using one of these as I get in and out of tree stands, especially bow hunting. You can get an idea of the animals that are around you before shooting light. Um, you can use it on our hug, hog hunt like we did as kind of a pseudo spotter. Now, if you're hunting fields that are, you know, six, seven, eight hundred yards long, you're probably going to want something with some more magnification because this is a 1X. But depending on your hunting setup, this definitely could be used as a spotter. Now, I'm hoping in the future they'll have some weapon mounts out for this. They'll have some helmet mounts and, and we'll get to to use this in other roles, but it's pretty cool to see where technology is going. So this is digital night vision. You know, it's not the old analog technology. And every time something new comes out, it, it's stepping up the game. So this is where the, the future is going. You know, it's not gonna be long before digital night vision is the future. You know, the future is now, it's coming, and it's catching up at a rapid, rapid pace. Um, so what we did to kind of show you guys the capabilities of this and that kind of tactical GoPro realm is went out to the range a few weeks ago had Jared Hilton with SWAT come down and assist me and basically put together a little two and a half minute shooting video for you guys so this video the video starts so well past sunset here in uh, North Texas and you'll see the very first clip on the video is dark and that's me with an shooting with an iPhone and then we switch over to the color mode of the Aurora You'll see kind of as the video goes, the color mode starts to degrain as it, or it starts to get grainy as it gets darker and darker. And then we switch over to that monochromatic, that black and white mode and film the rest of the video. We also use, during the video, we use IR lights on and off. And I'm gonna make sure to notate in that video for you when the IR light is on, when the IR light is off. Stay tuned to SWAT for more updates. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the SWAT channel and I hope you enjoy this short video. All right, guys, the sun is sitting. Let's take the Aurora out to play.
We hope you enjoyed Casey's first look at the Psionics Aurora. If you want to see more on this kind of device, be sure and hit that like button, subscribe for the notification when it happens, and then visit us over here at schwat.com, special hunting weapons and tactics for more exclusive content you won't find on YouTube.